The Scout Mindset, Why Some People See Things Clearly and Others Don't Everyone Suffers from Mental Biases and Blind Spots In this book, Julia Galliff explains why it's so hard to overcome our cognitive biases and how we can learn to see the world more clearly. In the Scout Mindset Summary, you'll learn how to develop a set of attitude and tools to see the world with more openness, curiosity, and accuracy. What's the Scout Mindset? There are now lots of research and books about human irrationality and cognitive biases. Check out Thinking, Fast and Slow and Factfulness to learn more about mental biases. Unfortunately, understanding blind spots and biases won't make you immune to them. Human beings often deny our mistakes and resist change. Yet, we can also acknowledge our flaws and errors, embrace change, and be truthful with ourselves. The question is, when do we succumb to flawed thinking and when do we rise above them? What can we learn from our own successes and how can we multiply what works? For years, Julia Galef searched for answers to these questions. In this book, she explains how we can use the scout mindset and tools to see things as they are instead of how we want slash expect them to be. Two Archetypal Ways of Thinking, Scout versus Soldier In a nutshell, there are two ways of thinking, the soldier mindset and the scout mindset. Soldier Mindset The soldier mindset is like defensive combat. We may think that we're being objective when we're subconsciously defending our views and beliefs. We focus on fortifying our case and shooting down the other party's points. Changing your mind feels like surrendering or being defeated. We're driven by directionally motivated reasoning, i.e. we decide what to believe based on our underlying motivation. Even if we start out with good intentions to find an answer-slash-solution, we end up trying to prove that we're right. If we want to accept something we ask, can I believe it? If we want to reject something we ask, must I believe it? This is also known as the confirmation bias, denial, delusion, self-justification or rationalization. Scout Mindset The scout mindset is like making a map. The goal is to be as accurate as possible. At the same time, you know that a map is only a rough estimation of reality, so there will always be missing details or errors. When you uncover mistakes or inaccuracies, it gives you a chance to improve your map. We're driven by accuracy-motivated reasoning. We ask, is this true, with a genuine desire to uncover the truth? Which mindset is better? The scout and soldier mindsets are merely archetypes. In reality, no one adopts a 100% scout or soldier mindset, and we switch regularly between the two mindsets. Julia Galef suggests that we intuitively adopt the soldier mindset because it's instantly gratifying. Specifically, the soldier's mindset serves three emotional benefits, comfort, self-esteem, and morale, and three social benefits, persuasion, image, and belonging. You can learn more about each of these benefits in our complete summary bundle, which includes a 16-page PDF, an infographic PDF, and an audio MP3 of the Scout Mindset Summary. Unfortunately, we also end up sacrificing sound judgment or accuracy to make poor decisions that we may regret in future. We need to keep rationalizing or denying new information to sustain our belief, thus deepening our self-delusion. On the other hand, the scout mindset helps us to see things more clearly and objectively. This allows us to better evaluate risks, see a wider range of opportunities, understand issues more deeply, and address problems effectively. The earlier you develop an accurate map of the world, the faster you can take effective action to achieve the outcomes you want. How to develop and thrive with the scout mindset. What does it take to cultivate and apply the scout mindset? Julia Galef breaks this down into four main sections in the book, with specific concepts and tools for each section. To learn about each of these principles and tools in detail, do check out our complete version of the scout mindset summary, click here for the 16-page summary. Meantime, here's a brief overview. Develop personal awareness. To be a good scout, you must learn to notice blind spots, overconfidence, or gaps in thinking. Specific approaches slash tools include Knowing the signs of a scout mindset so you can examine slash notice your own mindset. Spotting your own biases or motivated reasoning by using various thought experiments to put yourself in a counterfactual world. 
using various methods to calibrate your confidence level and avoid overconfidence in your knowledge or decisions. Thrive without self-deception. It's possible to satisfy the six emotional social needs mentioned above without sacrificing clarity or honesty. Julia Galef explains how you can cope emotionally without illusions, e.g. using hypothetical plans and silver linings. Motivate yourself without illusions, e.g. only taking bets with positive expected value, and persuade others without false confidence or promises by using three sets of strategies. Learn to change your mind. Don't end up choosing between two bad options just because you're too narrowly focused on what's in front of you. Learn to step back and see the big picture and other options you may have missed. To do so, you need tools too. Define what it means to be wrong and overcome your resistance to change slash mistakes. Sit with your confusion instead of drawing premature conclusions or dismissing anomalies that don't fit your preconceptions, and learn from disagreements. This is actually harder than you think since you must first sort through your mental emotional tangles and intertwined beliefs. Rethink your identity. Don't let your self-concept or identity blind you to the truths. Understand why simple beliefs or preferences can become a part of your identity and recognize the signs that you're holding a belief too tightly. Learn to hold your identity lightly instead and develop a scout identity, e.g. I don't make sense excuses for myself or I'm the kind of person who can embrace the hard truths alongside your other identities.